Hello, welcome back. We are now in our next chapter of central banking in the United States. So the history of banking in the United States left off in 1811 after the charter renewal for the first bank in the United States was defeated by Congress for the tie-breaking vote of Vice President George Clinton. This leaves the United States without a central bank and the views of Thomas Jefferson and James Madison had prevailed. However, just one year later in 1812, the United States and Great Britain go to war once again. Just as in the Revolutionary War, the United States accumulates significant war debt. Which now leads us at our second attempt at a central bank, which we're going to simply call the Second Bank of the United States. With the United States once again facing financial problems, the idea of a central bank reemerges and we establish this second bank. You're about to watch a video uh, regarding the second bank of the United States. And these are the questions you're going to need to answer after the video is completed playing. First one, which president authorized the second bank? What year did the second bank begin its charter? Why did Andrew Jackson initially oppose the bank? What was the primary reason for creating the second bank? What important milestone in American history was funded by the second bank? And after the second bank failed, how many years would it be before we had another central bank? 